how's it going? So, I am going to make a couple of videos for like the last couple, the last couple? No, for the couple, like coming days or whatever. And then I'm going to schedule them to be posted to my YouTube channel because that's what I'm going to try to start doing from now on. Um, because making them, posting them is fun and easy. It's just doing them is the problem. And I keep saying that I'm going to start doing videos on certain days and I don't do it and it's kind of getting annoying. So, I am, and I really don't know how this is going to turn out because I don't know if this is already bad or what because I've waited so long. But, I have bought um, a dragon fruit for about the last three months. Almost every time I went to the grocery store. I only won, so I'm not like wasting a butt ton of money, but <laughs> um, it is still wasting money and wasting food and all that. Feud? Food and all that. Anyways, so here it is. It looks odd. There's no like mold or anything, so I'm assuming all is well. But all we're going to do is just cut it in half, see what's inside. Apparently there's two dragon fruits. There might be more, but I'm in Ohio and that's all we get. So I'm pretty sure it was this one and another one. I think it was like yellowish, yellow, orangish. Anyways, so we're going to cut it open. We're going to slice it up and then we're going to try it. I've heard that they don't have any taste at all which I find is weird because it looks gorgeous why wouldn't it be nice and sweet like it looks um, but that's the main thing like I've heard that they just have absolutely no taste but they make you go to the bathroom a lot so let's try it <laughs> um, first cut was actually really easy uh, That's what they look like. Almost has like a sweet flowery smell to it. I mean, I would kind of expect that just because it's fruit. Anyways, let's get a nice thick because nobody else here will eat this, I'm sure, so. Can't really say that my daughter probably would so here is the slice that I did it's pretty thick so I'm going to just try to dissect this is because you don't want to eat the outside is what I've heard oh and it peels pretty easy so I don't really need to cut that off ew Look. That's really all there is to it. So. Here we go. Doesn't smell bad. Like I said, it smells kind of like a rose. Like a rose and a dandelion. Nope. Not my thing. It, <laughs> there before I spit it out. Yes, I spit it out. Um, it almost started tasting like a potato. Which is weird. Maybe I let it sit in there for too long and it started going bad. Is that a... Th Thing. I'm assuming that's a thing because everything that's food can go bad. Huh. Interesting. 
Now I got a bunch of seeds in my mouth. So, do I recommend running out to your nearest store and buying dragon fruit? No, don't do it. Don't listen to the hype. Don't. Don't think that this is a new trend. Because it's not. It's gross. So, just don't do it. Save yourself a lot of money. Because uh, I clearly wasted. I'm trying to find. What am I doing? Come on. Dragon fruit. Yeah, five dollars. Wow. So I pretty much wasted about twenty to twenty-five dollars in dragon fruit. But I could have just tried the first one and would have been fine with that. So if fruit that tastes like potato and smells like a rose and dandelions. If that's your thing, definitely try the dragon fruit because it, it just might be. But um, I don't think it is as it's not really on anybody's goal to be like, go out there and buy me a dragon fruit for every day of the week. Anyways. Before I just keep rambling on, because this video is only almost seven minutes long, so that's fantastic. On to our next one. A whole different task. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.